Okay, guys. I got an unboxing for you. and see if I can do this real quick. This is a very highly thought after book, uh, especially by people that have read it already. It, it, there doesn't appear there's going to be a trade edition anytime soon. But there are still copies of the limited from Earth, Earthling Publications if you want to get them. They probably won't last much longer. I'm surprised they lasted as long as they have. And this is a pretty massive box. That's comparison's sake. Most people are familiar with this one. It kind of dwarfs this Joe Hill book. So, just a sense of scale there. Be the first time I've opened it with you guys. And we'll see what we got here. Oh, appears they did use the same box that they did with the early early purchasers. I got in here real late, and I missed out on the shock glass. Not that I really cared for, for it anyway, but it does appear that they used the same box. Okay, and here's the box, book itself. Surprise me, it's in here loose. Uh, but... It's not. It's in there, nice and snug. Apparently, nothing to really worry about. As you can see, it's Mallerman's Ghoul in the Cape. It's got a lot of illustrations in it. As you can see Bell's lines there. Uh, looks like three fifty-four. I have no idea. Could be uh, uh, quite a few numbers actually. I'm not really a fan of signatures to begin with, uh, and actually something like this just to get by. And when you have to do a lot of signatures, I can understand why the, some authors do this. That just kind of just uh, ruins the point of signatures to begin with for me anyway. You know, if you're gonna do it, you might as well do a good job at it. They're just doing something halfway like that. Yeah. So here it is.